tuning in to Minds Wide Open Media. Shout out, Shout out to the Florida Vibe Directory. You are now listening to the best playlist in South Florida. Yes, sir. You already, you already know what time it is. It's Florida Vibe Directory. It's your, it's your boy, boy Gabe Avelli without, without the shades. Back here, Back here with another one. one. Today, Today I got, I got a very, very special guest, guest man. man. Not only, Not only am I able to call him my friend, my friend this, is this is also my family. family. This, is this has also been a very big contributor to Proximity FM. Um, morning, um, morning coffee, coffee freestyle. freestyle. You know, you know through, through music, music, through production. You know, so you know what I'm saying? We got Nine Tail Tay in the building, man. How you feeling? Yo, 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 yo. What's going on, y'all? You see, you see it now. You see it, man. Glad to be here, man. Thank you, bro. We had to bring you up here, man. It was overdue. Nah, nah. For a fact. And honestly, on behalf of Minds Wide, you know what I'm saying? We just want to say thank you. You know, for all the beats that you provided. You know what I'm saying? All the beats that you provided, because... All right, I'm going to keep them coming, man. You already know. It's been, it's been clutch, clutch, man. It's been clutch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got to provide the vibe. Right. right. Yeah. So, so for the people that don't know, me and Tay go back like eight tracks. Eight tracks. Known, each known each other since, since the beginning, the beginning uh, you know what I'm saying? So my whole life. life. There's, there's, there's definitely a lot of history, you know, in this, in this conversation, conversation at the moment. But, you know, but you know, for the people that don't know, you know, let them know where you're from. And, you know, we'll talk about the early life. I was born in Hialeah. Shout, shout out to, to Miami, Miami Dade County, County you feel me? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, shoot, shoot, I was pretty, pretty much raised, raised all, all around South Florida, Florida man. Shoot, shoot, we, we moved, moved around, around so much from, from, from Broward, Broward County, County, Dade County. Dade County. Pretty, pretty much, much yeah, we, we was in Springs for a little, little bit. bit. So, where so where do you consider home? Or you just consider like the whole area your home since you've been around? Yeah, bro. When people ask me where I'm from, I'll just say South Florida. Because you, you, you already done been, been everywhere. You yeah. feel me? South, South Florida. Florida. That's it. Out of all, all, all the places you live, Broward County, all that. Out of all, all the places, all the places you, you live, what would you say was like the weirdest place you live? The weirdest place? We're just, just like, like your shit different, different around here. here. Like, shit, shit, I'm not going to lie, bro. The foyest crib I ever lived in was in Weston. Shout out Weston. Weston, nigga, that 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 neighborhood was crazy, and it's like you in a, you in a whole, whole little, little bubble. bubble. Like, like, you separated from, from like the real world, world low key. Right, right. They, like, you feel I'm me? Feel I'm like feel like cities be, cities like, be that. like that, but that shit, that shit is, is really, really like separated. separated right? You gotta, you gotta go, go fucking just to just go to, go to Publix, Publix, nigga. You you that's gotta drive. Yeah, nigga, it's like a 15 minute drive just to get to Publix. So it's like a different. It was like a culture shock for you too. Yeah, man. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It it was like crazy too, cause just the the cribs out there. People, people different, different you feel me? Like, I don't know. I, don't know. I, definitely, I definitely felt that. that. So, so what started, what started first, first, the design, the design aspect, aspect or was it the music aspect? aspect? Uh, um, definitely, definitely the design. The design. I, probably, I probably, I was, I was getting, getting to the fashion side, side way before, before the music. Not way before, because it kind of came hand in hand. But, but it definitely started with design. I started Stay Fresh LLC in 2012, you feel me? It's my brand right here. Yes, sir, Ski. Just been keeping it pushing since then. So, like, probably, like, middle school is when I first started with the graphic designing right. and all that shit because I, I would take classes in high school, art classes and shit. But, yeah, after that, it just evolved, man, into, like, trying to promote the brand. So I kind of brought music in hand in hand, you feel me? Like, I was always kind of like the glue for my homeboys. Like, I had the laptop. Uh, I had the mic, you feel me, niggas will I just link up with me to have the little sessions or whatever. Always playing like a role. Type shit. I felt that, me? I felt that. So what was the first design looking like? Yo, Stay Fresh, the first design I ever, like my first logo was an air freshener. Like y'all know the car Yes, air I remember that. Yeah, because really it started with just the SF. Um, I had it like in a shoelace. SF. Dog, I remember that. And then I put that bitch in the uh, the, the little, I forgot the name of that brand, but the, the Little Trees, I think it's called. Okay. The Air Fresh, Little Trees. Yeah, because yeah, you trees. Know, stay fresh. I figured people see that, you uh, link it up to smell air good, freshener. fresh, air freshener. So, I don't know. That was just my first like idea for that shit. But it's evolved so much since then, man. No, of course, of course. And it's crazy because it's like you talk about that and it brings me back because it's like we literally started like at the same time. Yo, you facts, know? dog. Steezy Nation days. Dog, shout out to the whole <laughs> shout out to the whole Steezy Nation. You Real heard shit. we out here. Uh, man. DJ L. Yo, my legend. Nigga for life. Shout out Troy. 
Troy for you sure. Feel for me? sure yeah. Damn, I know those were good times, bro. Those were good times. But before we, you know, fast forward a little bit, man, let's talk about more like that early hustle, man. Like, so what you was like marketing through social media, or since you was in school, you was more like just walking up on people. Yeah, or you I'm was, not gonna lie, what would help me a lot is the fact that I did start it while I was still in school. So like I would have my little group of friends that I'll just give t shirts to, like, yo. Feel me? And, like, for example, we'll have days where we all pull up in my shit. So you walking through school uh, eight hours of the day, however long you in school, fucking. That redundancy. See, yeah, you see people just rocking the same brand, and it's like, yo. I used the wrong word, but, <laughs> you know, I like, definitely use the wrong it word. Just, you see people with the same shirt on, and you just start asking questions, like, yo, what the fuck? Well, like, what going shit on is here? this? Like, so I be, started becoming type known. In high school type shit, mm -hmm. people started like trying to copy the stock sauce and shit. Like, Damn word. Yeah, dog. Some nigga had uh, his shit was like a pineapple, or whatever. I don't know what the fuck, but he tried to take my name to stay fresh. Shit. Like the and, same exact name, same yeah, spelling same and everything. Same name, nigga. Nah, he spelled it regular like S T A Y. Damn. My shit is S T A E because. Tate, my rapper name when I first started was Tate Fresh. Word. So I just put the S in front of that bitch. And right. That was my clothing line, Stay Fresh. Damn. So, and that S-T-A-E also stands for Strive to Achieve Excellence. Okay, okay, all right. So I kind of got that inspiration from, I, like, I was really fucking with ASAP back in the day. For sure, for sure. So always striving, prosper. That shit kind of. Went hand in hand. You feel me? But so let's let's fast forward a little bit, man. So after, yeah, actually, dude, this loot, this loot lighter, by the way, the little bit. Just because I stole the last one, so I had to, you know, what I'm saying, <laughs> put it out there. That is Luke's lighter. It's on camera. But so fast forward a little bit. So when did you start to incorporate production into your music? Uh, production, as far as like making beats. Yes. That was just, that was the most recent. Like, I, was, I just added that in my belt probably like two years ago. I started making beats like summer 2020. Type oh, it's only been two years? It's like, shit, it's, about, it's coming up on three. Damn. But yeah. Okay. Pretty much started like two years ago. Like and two you and feel and like half years. that changed everything for you? For sure. Definitely. Because I feel like I kind of found my own style as far as production. Like, I was making beats for me really because i'm tired of like i started dropping my shit on all platforms so i didn't want to just be stealing people beats or nothing like right. that i wanted it to be my shit my production and my ideas all that so nigga just started cooking them things up you know i probably made like it took me a good like two months before i got to the point where i could make one beat like every Damn. day type shit but I that's just me fucking Every day grinding with that shit, getting frustrated at that shit, looking up YouTube videos, all types of shit. So when did you find out that there was like a next level to production, like actually like mixing the beat and you know that type of stuff? I mean the mixing side, I've been knowing about that because like I said, like when I first started the clothing line, I was always the engineer mm. for my homeboys, for my shit. Like I would always be in the lab recording my own stuff, mixing my own shit, mixing my homeboy shit. So. I always had that aspect down packed. Like, that kind of helped me out with the production as well because I could kind of mix my own shit. I don't got to really send it out to get mixed or right. anything like that. It's like a one-stop shop. Facts. I you could come for the studio time. You could buy beats, all that. It's a one-stop shop. That's what I tried to kind of develop with that. Like, Where it's like so you, somebody could buy the beat, record the song, mm -hmm. and get the mm -hmm. cover art. All in that same, basically in that same motion. That ass. Like, anything you need. And that, that's also, that just comes along with time because it started with, like, just making songs and trying to promote them shits. But it got to a point where it's like, yo, how are we going to make money off of this shit? Right. So that's how I kind of, like, okay, I could make logos for companies. I can do people's cover arts. I could host studio sessions and charge for studio time. Right. Just adding it under my belt, you feel me, as I went. So out of all of those things, which one would you say was, like, the one that took off the quick, <coughs> the design or, like, being an engineer? Shit, I would probably say the production, bro. Because, like I said, I just started maybe, like, 
two years ago, but for example, I already got like two hundred sixty beats on Beatstar. Let's talk about it. Available. That's why. Let's, let's talk about it. <laughs> like nigga been grinding with that shit for real, and I feel like that's really what kind of is gonna set me apart mm -hmm. from a lot of shit. Like is the the production because it's just like uh, making music where they say, oh, it only take one, but I feel like the chances of that one going is way more because I could collab with motherfuckers that got placements. I could, mm -hmm. you feel me, like send my beats out to I've been, I've email been list I've I been got. seeing you doing that actually more too, where it's like, it'll yeah. be like multiple people on the beat. So yeah, let's yeah. talk about that too, like the people you've been collaborating with beat wise. Man, uh, the main two niggas that have been sending me loops, shout out to these niggas. Uh, produced by NASCAR, his Instagram is NASCAR Where You At or W Y A. Fuck, like that nigga got. No, I peed. I peed. That boy got the um, like Yeet type shit, like the new style shit. Y'all got an Asher? Can I just? Um, here you can use this cup right here. Yeah. Um, and then the other nigga is Loaded. Loaded what up? Loaded what up? That nigga right there, bro. He got like he got credits with Kodak. Mm. Um, I feel like I've heard the um, Adler before. Yeah, his tag you probably have. Like, and then, uh, I think he got shit with Rod Wave. He's like in that out here type. So shit. that's how you feel like you're like staying on both sides of the spectrum. Yeah, you feel me? That's why I feel like you, you never know what could blow on that side too, the production side. Mm. That shit, I feel like there's a way bigger bag in that shit too because that comes with the ownership. Right. Like a lot of niggas not worried about owning their shit. And that's really all it's about, bro. That's your main thing is ownership, you would say. Exactly. That's why I started making beats in the first place. So I could go on fucking distro kid or whatever the fuck and say, nigga, yeah, I own 100% of all G this shit. Give me that. Yeah, really. So how did you link up with the other two producers with Loaded and NASCAR? You guys met like online or? Yeah, that's why I say, um, that's why I say. Shout out Camilla. <laughs> the production side probably took off the fastest is because when I started really being consistent and posting my shit every day on BeatStars, yeah. and I just started with the YouTube probably like not even a year ago, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but like I started just creating a fan base and a community that I could just, like people would start reaching out to me like, yo, your beat's fired, da, 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 right. let's link up, let's collab. Oh, because they would go from the BeatStars to yeah. follow your IG and shit mm -hmm. like that, for sure, for so, sure. So like, that's where I met. That's where these, like, and out of nowhere, I would just start getting emails, like, loops. Like, Damn. people sending loops and shit. Oh, that's lit. Yeah. And then once you go and click on their IG and you're like, oh, this, oh, okay, yeah. bet, boom. Yeah, and yeah. And if it's some hard shit, obviously, I'm a, I'm a tap in, you feel me? So, and it's, it's cool because BeatStars allow it to where you could just split everything down the middle with whoever you. Ah, uh, with whoever you collabed with. So, it's yeah, like. It's like, like DistroKid where you could just uh, add the, the percentages and shit more of a collaborative effort and it's like the right way. Yeah, and I feel like it's way easier to get heard that way, collabing, cause you never know, like for example, both of them niggas got credits. Like, right. So you never know who they're sending the beats to after I post them. Or even what sessions they're being played in. Exactly, so. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. So let's, let's go back to the music. So I feel like we'll start forward and then we'll go backwards. I was like, you know, Bumping some nine till ten yesterday while I was doing my laundry and shit, okay. making sure that you know my mind was right for the interview. Hey, bruh, that's he. He just said some, like you know how niggas got that music where you could vibe in the car and that shit having you going, fucking, a hundred miles an hour. You going past the speed limit? Nah, my shit. You gonna play my shit? And you're going to vibe out. Facts. You could clean the house bruh. listening to, You could do your laundry. No, 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 you could no, no, do no. the chores listening but to my shit. Ski mask, bro, in the car, the bass on that shit is... Nah, yeah, deep. I got some shit in the whip that'll have you speeding. What's the other song? The other song on, the, on that EP, it starts with an L. That Labyrinth. Bruh, that one is OD. Yeah. I really fucked with that one. Like, I'm not going to lie. And that's, like, I be, like, for there's certain producers that I fuck with that... I'll put, I'll use their shit rather than using my shit just because I like that sound and that was one of them shit that uh, we love the hills. Mm -hmm. Yo, they got that different sound. Like bro. that shit was that shit was banging. Yeah, I fucks I fucks with that shit and that 
Like I love beats like that because that shit will bring that shit out of you. Like you yeah. know what I mean? Where it's effortless. You no, and, and, and you, right you, you, was, you was talking some shit, dog. Yeah, Read does. between the lines, you know what I'm saying? But before we get into, not even, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but <laughs> speaking about that, man, shout out to your twist, man. Just add water. The right. water bros, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? That boy been holding it down, boy. Yeah, nah, bro. My but water. Been consistent. Hell yeah. So you guys are like brothers, brothers. Yeah, uh, it's weird because we not like we don't got the same parents, but <coughs> we got the same sisters. We're brothers by like different marriages, pretty much. Mm. Like, yeah, like I don't even know how to explain that shit. It's weird, but I've known that nigga the same way I've known you since nigga birth. Nigga. Crazy, like, crazy. I was over that nigga crib eating cereal too, nigga. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you guys link up like on some music shit? Uh, shit, that happened, like, probably after I got out of high school type shit, where we really started chilling, because there was, like, a big gap. In age and shit, and time. Not even in gap, but, like, just in our, in our, not age, but just in our chilling, like, because when I was a kid, I would always be chilling with Ram. I'd always go to their crib, you feel me, like, be chilling with them, and then there was a point where, like, he got... He was older. He was like a teenager, but I'm still in that like Kid I can't things. go do what these niggas doing down the block type shit. Like niggas doing whatever they was doing, but I was too young at that age. So I ain't, we ended up going to the same high school because my freshman year I moved to uh, Plantation, mm -hmm. so I couldn't go to the same high school. But then I ended up coming back because I was using my homeboy address. Oh shit, the finesse. You feel me? The finesse. And. Uh, so we just ended up linking up like that, like back in high school type shit. He was like, oh shit, like it's my little brother. Like, <laughs> nigga introduced me to all his friends and Damn. shit. Like, I was kind of known for being his little brother. That's type lit. Because I was, a, I just got there, I was a freshman. But y'all always had the chemistry when it came to making music? Yeah. Like, that, the first time we was in the studio, bro, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the first time we was in the studio, we made Love on Drugs. Damn. I don't know if you ever heard that, but that's one of our hardest songs. Nah, man. Only the strong survive. Only the strong survive hard. Yo, bro, we got bangers. I be driving to that shit sometimes, and like I gotta change it. <laughs> that shit's sad, bro. Like I don't know what it is about it. It's just like, yeah, especially because it's like that pain music word for, for sure, a fact, for, sure. for a fact. And that's one thing that's good too that you have, bro. Because like I feel like even myself, bro. Like I feel like I don't have no music you could be sad to. I feel you. You know what I'm saying, like. I don't got nothing for my peoples when they going through some struggle. <laughs> like, they ain't no Gabe Avelli I song, but you it. always got to have that, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just whatever mood you in when you making music, it's going to come out. But I feel like you're not scared to, like, go make a love joint. Yeah, nah, Make a sure. street I, joint. I, I, I take pride in, like, the fact that I could be versatile, for sure, for sure. It takes a lot, bro. Yeah, that's why even with my beats, most of the beats I make, honestly, when I'm just sitting there chilling and I'm not going off of other inspiration, it's gonna be like a chill ass mellow beat, like mm -hmm. relax, laid back shit. But there are other times where niggas I'll speed it up or whatever the case may be, just to switch it up. Like I don't like doing the same shit so much. Like it gets repetitive, right? Yeah. So like I feel like you gotta have some shit for everybody. Once you like what do you do to like get away from this? Just because it's like, you know, I know that like you're around you know, music and design yeah, and a yeah. lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, like... That come with, like, the family vacations, nigga. Like, just last weekend in facts. Orlando. Movie. Shit like that. Nigga, tap into the Man, bar. hey, shout out, Melo. <laughs> shout out, cuz. Cuz, I see you, my boy. Just know that, man. Shout out to the outlet, boys. For a fact. Shout out, Pig. Los Primos. All that, man. Yeah. Joe. Facts. Shout out, Joe, shout man. Out shout out, Layton, man. Yo. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Let's bring <laughs> let's bring it back because we could go we could go off on you feel me a whole a whole story, bro. Facts, facts. But damn, dog. All right, so yeah, yeah. yeah that's so, really how I get away from that shit, bro. Like you just gotta spend time with the family. Like you, I mean, it is good to hustle, bro. Like 
But we're talking about like like you time, like you you by yourself, like bro, like Miller, Miller doing some shit, like you at the crib, like nigga, I'll fucking go take Sophie for a walk, clear clear get some air. And like shit. that's I'll be having to do some shit like that. Like for example, making beats all day, bro, listening to the same shit over and over, like that should have drive you mad. Where sometimes you need like or take. Get your ears a rest type shit. That's what I was gonna ask. Take a walk, nigga. That's like, what I was gonna ask you. Go to the you. pool, go work out. Yeah, you feel me? Like, That's what I was gonna ask you. Ask you is like, how important is it as an engineer or a producer to like protect your ears? And is there like any precautions that you take? Shit, as far as like listening to loud music and shit. Yeah, like you know, like just like you know, in the headphones or just loud music. Period. I like, mean, nah. Uh, I, I just say. Give your ears a break as far as, like, don't sit there and try to listen to the same beat over and over. Like, when you're working on a beat, so it should only take you, like, 10 to 15 minutes to really get the most of that shit done. Like, as far as put, finding your sound. Like, the idea and shit. And shit. Yeah, you feel me? Or else you're going to drive yourself insane, bro. Yeah. And then once you do find that, don't sit there and keep working on it for hours and hours and hours and hours. Like, take a little break and, like... Right. Go go for a walk, like I said. Clear your mind. Yeah, hell yeah. So describe some of your favorite studio sessions as an engineer. <sighs> Shit, that's a tough one. Um, my favorite studio session probably would be like when, like for example, me and Water in the studio together, like shit like that. Like when the vibe is just right. Like when niggas find that right beat, niggas and. Smoked a little big, maybe got a little drinking. It's just everything. You know I mean? like, just being in that right mode and hearing the right thing at the right time that sparks some shit. Right. And it when it's effortless, that's the best time to be in the studio, bro. Real shit. Word. So like, who around? I'm like trying too hard. Like, you feel me? Like, that shit. So when it's like too hard or like not when you feel like you're forcing it, you, like you force it. Yeah. You just turn that shit off. Like, like yeah, I'll just step back from that shit. At least take a little. 15 minute, 30 minute break. You feel me? That's Word. It. So, who would you like to work with, like, around the area? Shit. Damn. As in, like. Any any type of way. Yeah, not any any sense, I guess you would say. Like, I would say first, if you. Yeah, we'll go, like, you know, I guess underground. And then we Shit. could go, like, to, to real, the bigger city. I need to tap in with Child Boys, like. Dez. Shout out Dez, man. Rose. Yes, yeah, Sersky. I need to tap in with all y'all, boy. Bro. Dre, bro. The arms is open. The arms is I open. No. You yeah. already know you already affiliated with the Minds Wide movement for yeah. a fact. And the Blue Art movement yeah. for a fact. Yeah, niggas be snapping. I know niggas will make some shit. <laughs> yes, sir. Like, it's just I be in my own little zone so much, nigga. Like, like that shit. So hard, but I definitely need to step out of my comfort zone and fucking start linking in, up. Yeah, shit. that's the one thing I was gonna say, bro. Cause I feel like that's all it really is, bro. You gotta just be in these places and like, yeah. I know it's hard, bro. You know what I'm saying? Especially even like for me, bro, where it's like to be at you know on the scene. But sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Real shit. And yeah. it's been so long since like nowadays, like when I record some shit, I be Olo, nigga. Like, mm -hmm. So that you need that energy to bounce off of. Yeah, it's been a minute since I've been in that, like, studio environment with people and we bouncing off ideas and shit or, like, just going back and forth on verses. Like, Facts. That shit. Facts. I don't know. Damn. I need to get back in the, into that shit. Because I remember niggas, like, back in Steezy Nation days, like, oh, niggas we was, were being... We was going crazy. I'm telling you. Speaking of the history, dog, let's talk about recording the Gabe Bavelli EP. Actually, bro, if people don't even know this, bro, but, like, Loki, you got me back into music. Because, sure. remember, I wasn't I remember doing that. music. Yeah. I was like, fuck this shit. And then yeah. you were like, nah, bro, pull up. Facts. And That's then, when like, I had first got the studio, mm -hmm. like, all the equipment and shit. We recorded a couple joints, and, like, they were they were good, but they weren't, like, right. And then we recorded that Prada bubble jacket. Yeah. And then well, we just, we knew, <laughs> bro, we that, knew. That's where the momentum came and from. And we, we locked yeah. in, knocked the EP out, and, like, couple weeks said that bitch should get mixed and it was off to the races bro but that shit came out hard bro. yeah man it was it was a good time bro it was a good time and it was fun bro yeah right. real shit man 
Shout out to Gabe of Valley. No, man. Shout out not tell Tay. <laughs> this is about you, bro. This ain't about me, though. This ain't about me. But let's do um some rapid fire. You know what I'm saying? We'll do some rapid fire. See, this one you need the shots. No. I'll take a shot with you right now. But you know we on Florida vibe. You know, proximity. It'll go <laughs> crazy. That? Nah. Like, that's a thing. I know. I just knew Luke would, I knew Luke would say that. But trust me, once I mentioned Starbucks, Luke already on it. But all right, let's bring it back to rapid fire. What the fuck are you talking about? Is that a white joke? No, no, no. Because you know how, remember how I was talking about how I go to Starbucks to do my research? And he oh. always be like, oh, this thing, oh, he's talking about you go to Starbucks. He didn't say that. Yeah. But he's like, oh, he, well, this mean, guy. Every single, every single shoot. Not just this show. Every show. Yeah. Every shoot, you talk about how you go to Starbucks to like. To do my research. Interview people. That's right. <laughs> I'm be interviewing Starbucks employees. Nah, bro. That's where I do my research. You feel me? That's when I get my little oh, laptop okay, okay. on. Okay, that's, that's the chill spice. Sometimes I, I try to front. And like a, mocha latte. A girl asks me what I'm doing, but I'm, write, I'm writing a novel. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> the boy be having the glasses on. I be capping. You feel me? They're like, yo, I'm writing a book. All right, let's bring it back to rapid fire, though. The first song I play in the morning is... Shit. That on my own by Nine Tail Tate. Yes, sir. Ski. It's that vibe. Before I create, I need weed. My biggest distraction is. <sighs> Unfortunately, she's sitting at this table. Done. And as Done. Of, like two days ago, it's gonna be this PS5. Oh, you got the PS5? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, then. You know, and it's birthday coming up. Okay. Gifts coming in. It's okay. Yeah, I got to uh, that shit downloaded as we speak. You about to get that in my career, or you just about to just like play straight like season? Nah, you know shit? I gotta, you gotta, I gotta do the my career. I gotta the, slide to the park. You know what's funny, bro? I never play my career. This is the I, uh, I do the same thing in every two cast. Why I don't even need to rush oh, to get wanna, the new you one? You one of them that you be building your team and shit. Like I'll do like a draft, the draft, and yeah. I'll and I'll build the team. So I don't even need the latest two K. To be honest with you, because <laughs> <laughs> I just thug it out and build my team and shit. Yeah, nah, I gotta have that in my career, bro. Yeah. Create my little character. What you making, point guard? You already know. Oh, I'm gonna say I need the balls. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Pause. Hey, yo. I mean, I need the ball. But all right, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Late night, I like to eat. Cereal, nigga. What kind of cereal? Shit, Reese's. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. They still make Reese's cereal? Cheerios. Hell yeah, nigga. Like Reese's the, pieces? Like the Cocoa Puff looking thing? Reese's yeah. Puffs. They still make those? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I thought that was Nancy just like... Lil Yachty. Um, nah, people love that shit. Promoting them shits. I thought it was just like a... Travis like, Scott. Oh, like an early 2000s fad. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's because that's when you were eating it. <laughs> like purple ketchup. Facts. Like you don't see purple ketchup. Y'all remember? You, y'all remember? Uh, y'all remember? Yeah, that shit just tasted like vinegar. It was but, per, purple but, ketchup just back in the day or whatever. It's just stupid. You know, early 2000s. I've seen the colorful Krabby Pallies. Like they did, that's oh. what they did. They did Krabby Patty shit. Oh, you Lord. know, when I was a kid, what are those things called? Macaroons. Mm -hmm. I used to always think those were Krabby Patties. <laughs> 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 All right, my favorite artist is Nine Tail Tate. Outside of Nine Tail Tate. Damn, you put me on the spot. Yes, sir. Shit, I gotta say Wayne, man. Huh? I'm all right. I'll Why stop. is that your response? I don't know. I knew he would say that, but I don't know. I just was Got caught off guard. Like all time. Wait, which one is it? Like Wayne, Lil Wayne. Wayne. No, were you caught off guard, or did you know he was gonna say that? I knew he was gonna say that. I did. Come on, okay. but it still caught me off guard because I thought he wouldn't go so obvious. Carry on. <laughs> 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 all right. All right. No, but for real, I didn't know you were going to say that. You caught me off guard. But I mean, shit, if we talking like... I'm going to come clean. I, I had no Right idea. now, right now? <laughs> like, all right, give me like past, present, and future. Okay. All right, I could try to do Wait, that. Wait, you telling him to guess his future that's, favorite artist? Like I'm saying, like, oh, yeah, who, we think, who, we, who he's wild. listening to, who he thinks is going to blow up in the future. I don't if know. If we talking about future, it'd be future. Okay, but... <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know why I said past, present, and future, but I meant like past and present. And future. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. The drum roll. All right. Past and present. Okay. Past. 
you know, Lil Wayne. Weezy F Baby. Come on. Present, Present. as of right now. As of right now. Damn. I gotta say Drake, bro. All right. All right. I thought you were gonna God say. God damn. I thought you were gonna say Yeet. Nah. Well, you ain't bumping no Destroyed Lonely? I haven't even heard that shit yet. Oh, no, he's pretty fire. Yeah, I, I be listening to Yeet, but as of like my favorite artist, that's like to me the most consistent. Drake. Yeah. Shout out Drake. Real shit. All right, outside of music, this is gonna be no surprise, but I'm the biggest fan of art. You're talking about a person. A person? No, I mean it could. All right, we could go with art. I thought you were gonna say Naruto. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Is that like I think like it's too? I, I don't know. I just okay. say outside of music. But if you say it's art, then it's art, bro. And art, bro. Cause nigga, if I wasn't doing music, I'd be doing. Could be art though too, but right? It, but it's on you to encourage a level of specificity. You're that's, right. Damn, that's a word for your ass. Yo, specific. Try to argue with Luke, bro. He gonna have some shit. <laughs> gonna be like, damn, you got that, bro. <laughs> Okay. So, all right. What kind of art do you like? You like like abstract art? You like conceptual? Is that a word? Conceptual art? You killing it? See? <laughs> conceptual. Damn, I don't even really know what that means, bro. D don't even mind. It. Just keep it moving. But Admire the vocabulary, and you feel me? Call it what it is. I like expressing myself through art. Like. Uh -huh. you feel me? So you brought it back to music, basically, is what you're saying? Nah, no, because that doesn't have to necessarily be music. I could go draw some shit. All right. Like, I could, like as but as but the way he's trying to form the question is outside of your craft. Like what's what are, what you, are you the biggest of? fan like, of? Like what do you nerd out for? What do you get excited for? Like okay. Like for him is wrestling. Right. Exactly. Like so you, you know how hard have, you know how hard yeah, I go. Yeah. Cut. Then anime for sure. All right. Like, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, now you just learned a better way to word the question. Thank bro. you. <laughs> See, this is why we're a team, bro. So. What's your favorite anime? Naruto. Who's your favorite character? Ooh, Naruto. If Ooh. all right, why does why are people Itachi fans if he killed this whole family? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the? Uh, just because that nigga raw. No, I haven't seen it. I just always make that joke. Itachi raw, but as far as like overall character, it, it's my nigga Naruto. Tenacity. Yeah, I felt yeah. that. Shit. Hey. I'm not about to strip for them. <laughs> Saint that that's the for the on my why Patreon. <laughs> See, y'all got OnlyFans, let me know. We we working on it. <laughs> <laughs> we working gotta on hurry it. Up before they start banning that shit. All right. Whoa. For real. We'll talk Instagram we'll talk we'll talk about that later. Wait, Insta Instagram has a section where you can subscribe to I peep I've been getting those um like notifications though. I don't know what that's about. Like it's like rappers and shit. Like, 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 what do I care about? Like, <laughs> I'm not paying ten dollars to see what you're doing, bro. Yeah, but some people are. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, I agree. Cause yeah, I mean, shit. everybody's getting that notification, not just the people going. Why would I do that? You're right. I'm still trying to figure out what the badge is. <laughs> no, the badge is. <laughs> I don't know me, what it please. is. I think it's just like people that send you donations. I don't know, bro. I that should be. I'd be losing touch with that shit. I feel like an old. Nigga now, man. Cause like TikTok for example, I don't even know how to work that shit, bro. You just gotta dance. <laughs> you, gotta <laughs> little, you just gotta know the little dance. Yeah, that's it. All right. I gotta start watching the Doja Cat TikToks. If that's what you wanted, you gonna get in trouble for that now. <laughs> what you mean? No, I'm just talking shit. <laughs> he immediately I, looked over. What you mean? She be watching them too. Dun <laughs> dun. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you hear that? You hear that? My favorite vacation spot is damn that I've been to Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii? Hawaii. What island? Honolulu. Ooh, big H. Fire. That shit was different. And Man, you what you ever been to a black sand beach, nigga? Nah, can't say I have. That shit was wrong. Nigga seen uh, red sea turtles. Shit. Damn. In the Black Sand Beach. Yeah, we was uh, snorkeling water. and it was right there, like by the the shallow side type shit. We that just sounded like a whole song. Fish, like, Damn. Shit was raw, cause. Damn. Shout out to Hawaii. I never been. 
I went surf, nigga. I went surfing in Hawaii. That's where I learned how to surf. You hang ten? Uh, I don't know about <laughs> that. <laughs> you know what that is? No. <laughs> I thought it was being ten toes down. <laughs> uh, isn't, that, isn't that like where you sit on the front of the board, or like not sit on it, but like standing on the tip of the? Board oh, so something? you like ten toes are hanging yeah. off? Yeah. I get it. Nigga, that's hard. Yeah, that's wild. I don't. Is that even possible, or did they just make that shit up? I don't. No, know. those dudes definitely do that. Yeah. That's crazy. All right. Nah, but it was just a, a challenge for me to stay on that bitch, and I was just happy actually standing. Yeah. Like, that's, <laughs> That shit like a ripstick, for real, though. You just got to feel the waves. Yeah. Damn, I didn't even know you been to Hawaii. I learned something new in the interview. I thought I knew everything. <laughs> hey. All right. I can't leave the house without. Uh, can I, I can't repeat um, something I already said. Or does it matter? Because I would say weed. All right. Cool. Me. Dun, no, dun. Oh well, yeah. Everything in here. Okay. It's the essentials. You ready? You ready though? We about to take this to a deeper turn now. What's that? It's about to get serious. Oh shit! If I could change one thing in the world, it would be. Damn. I want to cut my dreads, nigga. Damn. I miss my dress, dog. I'm Jimmy, not gonna but- lie, bro. Jimmy Butler. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Do- nah, I can't do it. You about to Jimmy up? I can't do the Jan, so you growing it back? Yeah, I think I might just start over. Cause hey, fuck. Hey, all right. My pops told me I was gonna regret that shit too. I should have listened. Hey, I can't say I regret it after joining the Short Hair Club. It's cool. Yeah, like, I was working on the waves and shit. I, I get re- I get ready quick now. You feel me? Um, <laughs> Facts. I'm punctual. Nah, nigga, cause I be having to get tapes every week and shit now. Yeah. Like same thing though. Nah, nigga, when I had dress, I could just thug it like for months. I wouldn't be at the barber shop. Fuck it. True. Just let that shit grow out. All right. Last one. I can't trust you if. That's tough. Now I ask them questions now. It's what you said the other day. Um, like, the friends that you have now, I, um, Damn, you can't answer the question for them. That's enough. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Go ahead, Camilla. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, but it might as well give her some mic. No, shit. Well, pull it up close. No, I think this one's off. Oh. Shit, honestly. Oh, it's live. The mic live. Friends not being like, like you're being, you're doing good, and he's not. So he can't just be happy that you're doing good. He gotta be like jealous of it, and 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 be like just yeah. be happy. You'll get there at some point. Mm. Yeah, that's real. Like they can't hear me, so you might have to repeat. <laughs> nah, 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 go ahead. We'll we'll run it back from the top. <laughs> I can't trust you if you. <laughs> 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 now that I got the answer. Right. Nah, but that's real. Like, if you feel me, if you can't see your nigga doing in a better position than you without like feeling some type of way, mm-hmm. other than like happy for the nigga, I feel like that's lame to me. You feel me? So you can't trust somebody that's not happy for somebody. Yeah, like not necessarily not happy for him, but just if you hating on a nigga that's doing better than you, like. So you can't trust somebody that can't wait their turn. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. You, you, you said it perfectly. Hey, that's why I ask these questions, man, because we, we try to take it there, man. We definitely try to take it there. That's real. Sheesh. <laughs> what, I feel, did we cover everything? I would say so. I think we, we touched, we pretty much unpacked everything. Let the people know where they could find you. Shit, at Nine Tail Tay. You feel me on all platforms? You could follow the business at. Stay fresh. That's S T A E, fresh L L C, on all platforms. Bow. Feel me? We could do. What, what you got coming? What you got coming? Shit, I'm working on a little project coming for the winter. I've mm-hmm. tried to drop for y'all every summer and every winter. So whether it be a tape, I might drop some singles in between, but Man. maybe a tape, a whole 
mixtape, maybe EP. Something. That's how I'm feeling. Y'all go bump that ski mask right now, man. All that. Man. Certified all banger. All the songs y'all heard us say, go bump that shit. And that's, and go, the, and that's the first the song. shit, all that. And that's the first song getting played tomorrow, live, 2 p.m., Proximity FM, Gabe Avelli, Mine's Wide, Florida Vibe Directory, Nine Tail Tate. Thank you again for coming through, bro. Always. Man. And two. Long overdue. Be on the lookout for his beats during Proximity FM. You will hear the tag. Once you hear the Nine Tail Tate, you know what it is. Yeah. Once you hear the, you should have her just do it on the mic. Go ahead, go ahead. Tell, tell. Go ahead. Because she doing that. <laughs> she the tag. All right. <laughs> this is it. Naya. It's the righteous yeah. vigilante, J. Mar Creek, and you're tuning in to Minds Wide Wait Open. Hey, yo, check it out. This is Name Stream. Never mainstream. You're tuning in to Minds Wide Open Media. Shout out to the Florida Vibe Directory. You're now listening to the best playlist in South Florida.